I think what Kenneth Burke would most want to be remembered for was that he loved words. One of his dear friends told me once that upon describing himself, he used the simple phrase, what am I but a word man? His works range in scope from poems and short stories to novels and essays of literary criticisms. Kenneth was a rhetorician, there was no doubt about it, and he was highly influenced by Aristotle. Whether he was critiquing poetry or the United States Constitution, Kenneth believed he was looking at a work of rhetoric. Even science for him was a form of rhetoric. His goal for rhetoric was the idea that words can be used to evoke a certain emotion, and when that emotion is provoked, it should serve to bring a state of oneness among men. He saw dialectics as a type of rhetoric and defined them as all enterprises that cure us by means of words. He saw words in a different way than everyone else around him. He saw them as symbols that we use for our own reasons and purposes. He defined language as symbolic action. He defined man as the symbol using animal, a concept which to him was the foundation for human behavior. His famous line, things move, people act, is demonstrative of that point. To Kenneth, the ability to use symbols like language was what set us apart from the animals. In order to study people's actions in symbolic format, Kenneth came up with one of the literary concepts he is most well known for, drama dramatism or the dramatic pentad. His thought was that humans performed on the stage of life just as actors do in a play or a movie. Human action in his mind was shaped and motivated like a drama. Five terms comprise the pentad which allow for the retroactive analysis of an actor's literary performance. They were act or what was done, agent, who did it, seen, when and where, agency, by what means, and purpose or to what end. Both highly criticized and highly acclaimed, Kenneth Burke was no doubt one of the most interesting literary figures of his time.